Chapter 6 Rapid Earth Movements In this chapter, we will study the rapid earth movements caused by the internal processes. Rapid Earth Movements At times, there is a large scale and sudden release of energy in the interior of the earth. This gives rise to rapid earth movements. As the speed of these movements is high, these are called rapid movements. These movements are destructive. These movements take place in a vertical radial direction. They affect restricted areas. We see their effects in the form of earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Earthquake Due to the movements taking place below the surface of the earth, the crust is subjected to stresses of great magnitude. If this stress exceeds a critical limit, the energy gets released suddenly. As a result, the earth's surface shakes. This shaking of the land is what we call earthquake. Earthquakes occur due to the movement of plates, their passage, their collusion with one another, subsidence, eruptions of volcanoes, faulting, etc. The magnitude of an earthquake is measured in richer scale with the help of an instrument called a seismograph. See figure 6.1. The point below the surface where energy is released during an earthquake is called the focus of the earthquake. From the focus, energy waves radiate in all directions towards the surface. The epicenter of a quake is located on the surface at point nearest to the focus. Earthquake waves are of three types, primary, secondary and surface waves. Primary waves These are the waves first to reach earth surface immediately after the energy is released in the interior. The waves traveling rapidly in radial direction are called primary waves. Due to these waves, the grains in the rocks move forward and backward in the direction of the waves. Secondary Waves The waves reporting at the surface after the primary waves are called secondary waves. These waves also radiate in all direction from the point of the focus of the quake. Due to these waves, the grains in the rocks move up and down, that is, perpendicular to the direction of the movement of the waves. Therefore, these waves are very destructive. Surface Waves Primary and secondary waves affect the surface on reaching it. As a result, a new set of waves gets generated at the surface. These waves spread along the circumference of the earth. Due to these waves, the grains in the rock move up and down as also sideways. Therefore, these waves prove to be the most destructive. Volcano Hot materials in the liquid, solid and gaseous form are ejected on the earth's surface from the mantle of the earth. This process is called a volcanic eruption. During an eruption, Ash, water vapor, various types of gases, hot and molten rocks in the form of lava, etc. are thrown out. Types of volcanoes based on nature of eruption. Central Vent Volcano If lava is released through a vent, a pipe-like opening, it is called a central vent volcano. In this process, the ejected material gets settled near the mouth of the central vent. This gives rise to conical volcanic mountains. For example, Vesuvius, Italy and Kilimanjaro, Tanzania. Fissure Volcano At times, when a volcanic eruption takes place, lava is released through a number of fissures and cracks. Such a volcano is called a fissure volcano. The ejected material spreads on either side of the fissures. 
This gives rise to volcanic plateaus. For example, the Maharashtra Plateau. The distribution of earthquakes and volcanoes. Earthquakes and active volcanoes mainly occur in the areas of plate margins. Active volcanoes are mainly distributed around the Pacific Ocean. Therefore, this region is called the circle of fire. Figure 6.5 shows the global distribution of earthquakes and volcanoes. A few major volcanoes are named in the figure. Find the continents or oceans in which they are located. Plates The crust of the earth is held on the upper portion of the mantle in a floating condition. Due to the tension and compression caused by the movements taking place in the interior of the earth, the crust has got ruptured into some parts. These parts are called plates. The earth's crust is divided into seven major and a few minor plates. Study figure 6.5 and make a list of the plates shown. Plates are formed along some margins, whereas they get consumed along some other margins. The continents and oceans rest over the plate surfaces. Of these, the continental crust is made up of seal, while the ocean crust is made up of sima. Continents The vast portions of land that appear over the sea level are called continents. In all, there are seven continents on the earth. In the order of their area, they are Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe and Australia. In the interior parts of the continents, there exists a shield. A shield is the land portion that is most ancient and has never been under the sea. In Asia, there exists a separate shield in the form of the Deccan Plateau of India. Therefore, the region to the south of Himalaya is called a subcontinent the Indian subcontinent. Earthquake and Volcano Study Figure 6.5 The distribution of earthquakes and volcanoes is shown in it. You will notice that most of the earthquakes and volcanoes occur along the plate margins. Try to understand the difference between the plate creating and plate consuming margins. Earthquakes and volcanoes are a result of the release of energy in the interior of the earth. They occur suddenly. Most of the earthquakes are a result of plate movements. Earthquakes also occur when volcanic eruptions take place. 